Hi everybody, Claire here from Buttercup Creations Art. So how are you all doing? I hope you're doing fantastic and not getting too hot in this weather. So I've just completed another journal for a lovely lady who requested a lot of things, which was fantastic because I like to incorporate as much as I like for your favourite things and try and create a journal with it and it all flows. And fingers crossed I think I've actually done it so the list of things that she liked was New York Paris blue pinks lilacs um, papers of all different textures um, to bring that nostalgic feeling you know the sweet um, bags um, old paper you know vintage papers and also um, children's um, vintage children's books um, and comics and handbags as well the only thing I didn't incorporate was the handbags because um, I just couldn't find none that I really like to put in there so I've done I think my best with it um, so the front cover is of New York and throughout is um, another thing was shabby chic um, Paris and the children's illustrations and vintage books so I take a look and see what you think so I've done um, like a cluster roll of different the different fabrics <laughs> and then she's got two layers of ribbon with the lilac and pink to tie it off so that's just been sewn through like so and we'll head on in so on the cover I've done Central Park I got an illustrated image off of Google and I think it's in the winter time at night um, because the trees are bare um, and it's all dark colours in the water the reflection so because she likes uh, the colours that she suggested I thought I needed to change it up for spring summer time so we've got cherry blossom trees which I know they have in Central Park our bridge our buildings in the background so we've got different tones of fabric to create the sides and the front a little bit of uh, needlework going on there and then obviously the different colours with sari silk in the background um, to create the different effects of the water. Then needle felting, I've done a little bit on each side. And then I've done my little um, donuts to um, go look as flowers. And then obviously I've got some bullion, um, not bullion stitches, but French knots going on there with that flower. And then obviously little miniature daisies there. So to the side we have some of the embroidery um, trim in the cotton. And then on the back this beautiful fabric. Um, and then I had, um, what I've done is I um, used some infusion fabric with a little bit of the sponge underneath so it's like that little bit of sponginess and it's not so harsh on the hands and then a bit more of our shabby chic going on inside oh and then on the bottom there we got a little butterfly with a bead as a bookmark so we'll head on in. So this is going to be all the French theme with the children illustration as well. So we have um, an envelope here and an envelope there. I'm just making sure I am in short. I am. And then we have our tuck there and inside there goes my card and my little note to the new keeper. So we just got this bit here. So I'll link below the digitals that I've used through here. Um, I think it's Pink Monarch Prints and Shabby Dabby Doodle that I've used. So we've got some um, tickets 
that she said that she likes as well. Obviously, I haven't got originals. So we have an envelope here and vintage music paper. And then here's the start of the children's illustrations. We've got Soot and Sweep. And I've just done it into a journaling card. And then this is a pocket here. And that flips out so she's got a huge writing space. And then on this side, beautiful little illustration. And it's a sweetie bag with the pocket in there. And it is the alphabet of Winnie the Pooh. So we got boff, verb, to cough in that very excitable sort of way that bouncing sort of animals like tiggers do quite a lot. <laughs> he just is bouncy, said Pigler, and he can't help it. <laughs> some of my copy dyed paper and some beautiful trim. Then we've got some of our um, vintage book pages. This is, I think, Shakespeare more of the digitals then this beautiful paper i got from it's actually called the journal shop and it's like really old they got like all this old stuff hidden away and then they had some of this paper here where it's got the little bits of um flecking so it's a nice touch to it then i got one of my clusters there and then we've got another journaling card, and this is Little Girl, Little Girl, where have you been? Gathering roses to give to the Queen, Little Girl, Little Girl, what gave she you? She gave me a diamond as big as my shoe. <laughs> so we have a tuck here with some goodies in, little envelope there to put her bits in. Some more of this um, paper which is handmade, I think, because you can see where it's thin. Um, and then what I've done is we've got some little bits here, and this is from a 19... So I've found, because I don't obviously collect vintage children books, um, but I was given some old annuals from 1970 and 1972. So this is what I've used um, and put them in there. there's another one there then this is a vintage gardening book some parchment paper and then when uh w is for winnie now isn't that she neat from her head to her feet she is dainty and sweet so it's just a little notebook on the inside then is vintage cookbook so, uh, if you fancy kidney soup, <laughs> Jew Louise, no, Jew, Jen Louise soup. And then, if she fancies a little bit of gardening, this opens right out. Small vintage paper. Oh. And then, mushroom cream soup. nourishing soup mm. another beautiful little illustration and another envelope there and some more goodies in that one and then this is an envelope with some writing paper in and then obviously some little treats there and then we have some of these. This is what was with the digital. I've just um, done that. And so she can write any little messages on the back. And then in here, this is one of the backing papers to those annuals that I said earlier. And all I've done is done another little illustration. And it's Peter Peter, pumpkin eater. Mm. I've got pumpkins growing. So another big envelope there and then another little tuck. So plenty of spaces for her to write and to add all her goodies as well to create those happy memories. Another little pocket here and that opens out into more um, paper and another one of these books. 
with pocket another tuck and a belly band and then that's the first signature and then in the center we've got this giant envelope and in here i found this of um dennis the menace and this is from a 1972 um annual so that'll have a good read <laughs> so we're going into the second signature um and we here we have a little envelope into a little belly band another one of our little envelopes and some tucks and i think that one's little bo peep another little tuck there with some tickets in and where am i oh yeah the same so you've got another big pocket there and then a belly tuck there and it's another one of the sooty and sweep journaling cards and then we got ah oh, robert says well hello mr man i guess we've made you as good as we can now don't run away on the first warm day I'm talking to snowman <laughs> so another bit of journaling card um journaling paper then we've got another beautiful illustration with some more of the alphabet and another pocket and then there's another one of those rupert bears and another one there this one f is for flora and here she stands with kitty held close in her chubby hands oh some more shakespeare just in case you fancy having a read another belly band and this is um, a dog and a cat went out together another one of these opening up right there so another envelope with some writing paper in that on the back some more Shakespeare 12th night that's together it there oh no just a bit stiff another one there another belly band with some goodies in i love this old music paper another beautiful little illustrations another envelope part of the tuck mock hair soup or milk and on milk and onion soup mm -hmm. i know my granddaddy used to put that break up bread in a bowl and i think he maybe sprinkled a bit of sugar on and then poured hot milk on it that's what he'd have for breakfast so here we go there's another little pocket there opening out again and then our final Winnie the Pooh book with a um, pocket in there. And that's the rest of the alphabet. Then we have another tuck here. And this is Cockroach in the Morning to tell us to, uh, to tell us to rise. And he who lay... I need to read that out. I haven't got my glasses on. Cockroach in the Morning to tell us that uh, to rise and he who dies late will never be wise well that's not me because i'm wise i'm a wise old owl <laughs> another little pocket there and a tuck all that beautiful paper and then into the back and then we have another envelope and another pocket there so lots of space lots of spaces lots of spaces to put all her goodies um so i really hope you enjoy looking through this uh, journal thank you for joining my channel all you wonderful subscribers please don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment give me a suggestion on a journal that you'd like me to create 
um, at the moment I'm in the midst of doing the steampunk um, journal boxes um, so that's something that will be going on this week I hope you have a fantastic day happy crafting everybody take care bye bye